My name's David Harvey. I'm the Group Transport Manager for Lawson's, where I timber and builders merchants. Based in London and around the M25, we've got 16 branches, running a fleet of about 100 vehicles. Drivers leave here at seven o'clock in the morning. It's all multi-drop, or mostly multi-drop. They're taking out building materials and timber up to their capacity, probably approaching 14 tonnes on each load. They would typically have eight to 10 deliveries within that payload. Uh, returning to the depot, probably round about lunchtime. They go on to break, uh, the vehicles are reloaded, and then they will go out then for a second delivery returning to the depot three, four o'clock, ready for reloading for the following morning. Most of our vehicles are serviced via South Mims, but we also run a few out of Perfleet, Heathrow, Truck Centre and also in Lingfield. All our vehicles have traditionally been on five-year repair and maintenance contracts. The recent ones we bought, we've just bought over the last two years, another 12 vehicles, all 26 tonners, and we're putting these onto an 84 month or seven year repair and maintenance contract. It gives me the security and the, the confidence to know that these vehicles are gonna be serviced and maintained by Scania themselves for the next seven years and my costs are gonna be fixed throughout that time. And it makes certainly planning financially a lot, lot easier. The reason we taken up Scania's repair and maintenance contracts so that we have everything done at the actual dealerships is probably nowadays trucks are moving so far forward electronically that it is essential that we know that the trucks are being looked after correctly. They're looked after by dealerships with trained technicians that are aware of Scania's, that's what they're trained on, they know all their little fogles. And also, of course, they've got the, the tooling on site, they've got the technology in place to, to diagnose any problem. Scania dealers I'll speak to probably once a week. I tend to speak to the South Mims branch maybe twice a day and we'll probably have calls to visit them for whatever reason at least once a week. I have a great relationship with the staff there. I know them all first name terms, they know me first name terms. They're quite confident at phoning me up eight, nine, ten o'clock at night to get uh, authorisation for, for repairs occasionally and they know that I won't shout and bark at them down the phone. It's, it's, it's a nice, comfortable relationship we have with them. Overnight servicing is really important to us. So when the trucks are dropped off, they're dropped off in the evening or late afternoon, four, half past four, the drivers are given courtesy vehicles, enabling them to return back to the dealerships in the morning, six, half past six in the morning, picking our vehicles up, and then we know reliably that they'll be back on the depots very early in the morning, ready to be loaded, and then we can get our goods out to our customers first thing in the morning still. That sort of facility is, is absolutely brilliant to us. Coupled with the fact that Scania now are giving us 100% first time pass rate on MOTs, it's of course good for our OCRS scores. So that we know that we're, we're always in the green when it comes to VOSA looking at our records. Lawson stay with Scania because uh, we enjoy very good relationships with them. Their after sale service is very, very good. Uh, it's always, if we have any issues at all, it's always addressed very, very quickly. Uh, I would say that Lawson's enjoy a perfect partnership with Scania, and that's really why we stay with them. <laughs>